my dad is a, uh, he's a cardiac surgeon. Some nights when he was actually on call, he would actually have to bring me into the hospital. And I can remember sitting there in one of the waiting rooms, building forts while my dad was in the operating room. And so I got this really early exposure to medicine. Kind of found uh, while I was in medical school that I really um, enjoyed surgery. And not only that, really enjoyed vascular surgery. And so I ended up going to New York City for my vascular surgery fellowship. Ultimately, found my way to Winchester. Uh, mainly, both my wife and I are, are physicians. Uh, we have three small children. We made a conscious decision to reach out and find uh, a location where we really felt that we could make an impact within the community. There are a lot of exciting things going on within the vascular field currently. Transitioning from majority of open surgeries to really a majority of minimally invasive or what we call endovascular procedures. If you were to ask me what percentage of procedures I do endovascularly, I think it's probably about 75 percent now. Uh, we are uh, developing a transcarotid arterial revascularization, also known as TCAR here, in which instead of a carotid stent that is usually placed through the groin, actually involves a tiny incision within the neck and that is a special flow reversal device with one of our medical companies uh, using that to then place a carotid stent. Vascular surgery is really, it's a, it's a continuum of care where we will catch patients hopefully early within their disease process and we will guide them through. And it's not just us alone, it's us, the patient, the primary care physicians. And so when we get to the point that I actually intervene, it's not a point where I intervene and that I don't see the patient again. I see them recurrently over months, years, and helping guide people throughout an entire continuum of care that doesn't just stop when the procedure's finished.